The first thing that's on my mind is they announced they're doing a Rocketeer sequel about a week ago. And the key thing is it's a sequel and not a remake and not a anything else. It is an actual sequel to the original film set about six years later. And they said it's going to star an African-American female. So it's set during a slightly different time in world history. And that's important because six years in the future... at a time period right before World War II, six years later, is very different world for us. So that's very interesting in and of itself. And then, of course, they're going from having a white male to an African-American female, which is a really big change. And I don't really know what I think about that. Uh, on the one hand, I grew up with The Rocketeer, and you know it is directed by Joe Johnston. I actually was the perfect age. I was like 10, 11, 12, whenever it first came out. I wasn't all three of those ages. I was only one. I just don't remember the exact year it came out. And I actually went to Disney World the summer that it came out, and they had a Rocketeer exhibit, and I got to meet the, meet the Rocketeer. Got to meet the meet Rocketeer. That's great English. Got to meet the Rocketeer there, and he did like a stunt show. It wasn't the actual guy from the movie, of course, but, you know, so really cool. I've got a picture somewhere. If I can find it, I'll put it in this video. Um, so a movie has a special place in my heart. It's not great, but it's definitely very good, and it has aged very well. Um, the special effects aren't too bad, given that they had a guy flying. Um, and just since it was kind of a timeless story, it feels, it still feels relevant today. So I'm, based off that, I've always been interested in them making a sequel. The problem is the movie wasn't a gigantic hit. It didn't become like a big classic. So it's really a movie that people my age, in their 30s remember, and not many other people. And so then when they go to do a, re or a sequel to it, that's interesting of itself. Like, why would you do a sequel to it? Why wouldn't you do a remake? And then likewise, switching out the gender and race of the person, I don't know if they're doing that because they're just trying to market the movie differently and try and pull in women, pull in minorities, and then pull in the people with the nostalgia factor like me. I don't know what they're doing. It just seems like a really odd choice for a movie. Like, who's the target audience? Because, like, it's kind of me because I've got the nostalgia, but it's a movie that's made for... 10, 11, 12 year old boys because it's not really a big hard action movie for a grown adult man like me. It's made for younger ages and I can still appreciate it, but I'm not the target audience now, but I'm the person that has the most nostalgia factor that would make the brand name relevant to someone. So I'm very confused by what they're trying to do. I'm very interested to see where they go with this. Um, what direction they go. Is it like a totally different movie, totally different thing that's a sequel, pretty much in name only, the tones? I don't know, but I'm interested because I was a fan of the original and let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens.